Hello, in this video I will show you how to bake light onto your terrain. Here I have one of my terrains and let's say I want to bake the shadows and the current light setup on my textures. How to do that? It's very simple because we have a node that do that exact function. It's called the light node. You can find it in the render categories light and uh, we have two main inputs first one is the red one called input the second one is the texture which is optional then we have the mask the first input you must connect it to the last node of your shape graph in my case it's the alluvium and i also have a portal so i will simply connect it my portal for the second input you must connect it to the last node of your texture graph in my case it's the color effects node and uh, here we finished uh, our setup for the light node now the light node as you can see from the properties panel on the right it has the exact same properties of the light viewport settings here basically it acts like a secondary uh, rendering because now I'm, I'm on the light node and as you can see I have some shadows and the sun in the middle. If I change and go to the color effects, now I'm using these settings here. So they are independent from one to the other. In the light node, you simply choose uh, the light setup that you want so I will play around with the sun and be careful because you must apply the changes. It's not a real time like the viewport. So maybe I want the sun here more or less. And uh, I want uh, the sun intensity to be higher, 1.1. Shadows, ambient occlusion, yes. Quality, you can choose from ultra, high, medium, low. I recommend uh, using uh, medium when you are modifying the setting and then change to ultra or high when you want to export your texture a trick for uh, choosing your sun position is to use the real-time viewport instead of changing the position every time in the light node so you go to the color effects node in my case and uh, simply open up the light properties of the viewport you change the sun position here and you change the settings and so on uh, then you simply copy the parameters to the light node let's pin the viewport so it doesn't uh, go away sun azimuth 25 sun elevation 53 all the settings are at default like here and this is it mark for export the node like you will do with any other node so right click mark for export and you will have it here on the build panel you can uh, rename it choose png because it will be a texture you choose the resolution uh, re remember to set the, qu the global quality to ultra and then apply the changes now i won't do it because it takes some time after that you simply export your node with uh, all the other nodes and that's basically it this uh, can be useful if you're planning to export your uh, texture to a, like a game engine or another application where you want to use dynamic lighting or similar so you will have your shadows baked in as well as the ambient occlusion and the main sunlight as you see here on the viewport be careful however because if you use an hdri in your final rendering application then the color will be a little bit different because the texture will take into account the sky light and color of the hdri so that's all i hope you enjoyed this video if that's the case leave a like to support the channel comment if you have any question subscribe to stay up to date with the latest videos and i'll see you in the next one. Eyes in the sky.
gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through.